Hey, there's the shiny one. Hey, there he is. Hello, sir. Hold on, I'm panicking now. Oh, he's gone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, chat, we're, I'm gonna go over the outbreak method again because you guys keep asking for it. And I also have to like record the start of this video again. And oddly enough, now I'm gonna be in a suit for this video because of this marathon. Okay, so the only way to get outbreaks to pop up is to talk to this guy. His name is Russ, but I'm gonna call him Russ. If you're not going back to Jubilife City, you're never gonna get outbreaks. So I would recommend that if you're like 12 hours in, and you're like, nah, I never got an outbreak. It's because you're not going to Jubilife enough. Russ will tell you when there's an outbreak. Now, if you specifically just want to get an outbreak for the sake of getting an outbreak or you want a shiny hunt, all you're gonna do is you're just gonna pick this first area here. You're gonna go to Field Lind Camp, Field Blind Camp Land, whatever, whatever the first place is. You're gonna talk to the professor. You're just gonna go return to village and you're just gonna do that loop until Russ tells you that there's an outbreak available. So that's that's like part one here of what we're gonna be doing. We just turn around, talk to Russ, no outbreak, go here, repeat. And then there's gonna be like a fast forward animation in the video until I get it to show up. <laughs> here we go, well that was perfect, okay. So he will, Russ will specifically say, I'm hearing outright, out, blah, 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 blah. I'm hearing reports of one of those mass outbreaks. Stay safe. Now he is showing that there's a floatzel here, which I don't specifically want to do floatzel, but that's fine. So we're going to go here, go to field link camps. Now, specifically for this method, you have to have auto save off, which I have auto save on. So we're going to turn that off real quick for whatever reason, if you don't know how to do that. Settings, down to autosave, disable. Here's the thing that you need to remember about turning autosave off and on. When you turn it off, you then have to save the game to confirm it's off. Got it. Okay, so what I do is I save right here in front of the camp. And the reason I, um, the reason that, that that is an important step is because other people are saying you can save in Jubilife. They're wrong. Because saving in Jubilife, while it does save a little bit of time, it doesn't guarantee you a shiny, whereas I don't like using the word guarantee, but if you save here, it is almost impossible for you to fail the shiny. Whereas if you save in Jubilife, there is a small chance that you could fail the shiny. Why? And we'll get to the reason why that is later. Now we're gonna show how to get the shiny. So I will, what I do is I mark it, I then save the game again. That way when you, when you restart the game, you don't have to worry about marking it every time. Uh, and then we're gonna go over and go to the floatzel. Okay, so the reason you wanna save in the camp versus saving in Jubilife versus saving here is mostly safeness and convenience. You could technically save right here, but when you need to reset, you would have to go back to the camp and that's time consuming. We should probably explain why we need to reset. So when you enter the area, for example, this area, these Pokemon are going to be exactly the same. They're all predetermined. So if there are 10 Floatzels here, they're gonna be exactly the same 10 Floatzels. And, the, and I can prove this because we shiny hunted Cricketune, and there'll probably be like an insert clip of the Cricketune, whereas Cricketune, it was, the shiny Cricketune was always number, I think it was number seven. So you can watch me fail Cricketune over and over and reset over and over, but the shiny Cricketune will always pop up. Wait, is that one shiny? Hey, there's the shiny one. Hey, there he is. Hello, sir. Okay, now I'll show you how this works, chat. We need a better reaction. We need to script it a little bit better. All right, so hold on. We got a, you know, scripted content here. Oh, we're gaming. <laughs> We need a full clip. We got to go back. No, it's not gone. It's not gone, chat. I'll show you. It's not gone. I promise. Ready? All right. Mass outbreak reported. Boom. Headshot. Headshot. Triple kill. Slayer. Okay. Four gone, right? He's back. Get him. See ya. Adios. Sayonara. Wait, come back. There he is, he's right there. Whoa, we're gaming, we're gaming. Blah. But if we reset like that, 
We need a better reaction. We need an even better reaction, chat. Ready? Mass outbreak. Headshot. Double kill. Triple kill. Golden eye. Uh, perfect dark. Call of Duty. Battlefield. Uh, 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 fear. Uh, the one game that everyone, uh, Uncharted. Whatever, uh, uh, Fortnite. Whoa, shiny cricket. no <laughs> scope. Hold on, I'm panicking now. Oh, he's gone. Oh, we actually have to reset. Okay, well, I messed that one up. No, I'm not trying to mock chat. I was trying to show chat where you save in case this happens. Banjo, oh, hold on. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I need to catch up in a feather ball. Uh, okay. That's fine. I, pan I panicked again. I've done this like six times and I panicked. I just... I just need a- I just need wing ball. I'm cu I cut all my Fortnite, Chinese of these, Fortnite, so. Fortnite, Fortnite. Let's we go! Love Fortnite. <laughs> Banjo Kazooie? Yeah, you could shoot Kazooie! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where is he? He should pop. He should be the next one. There he is. Okay, cool. Um, but I need feather ball. There we go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, we got her, we got her, we got her. All right, uh, I think I think at this point, I have proven without a doubt that it is the same batch of Pokemon. <laughs> I think I have proven that you can mess up multiple times and you won't fail the shiny. But again, do not, do not save after the words mass outbreak because you will mess it up. And I'm about to die. Okay, all right, we're out of here, we're out of here, we're out of here. And this is why it's important to save in the camp and not here or not in Jubilife, but specifically saving after the words a mass outbreak in peers is where the problem will come in. So if we get close enough, so it says you found a mass outbreak reported. This is the part where you do not want to save. You want to save before those words pop up on screen. And the reason you want to save before those words pop up on screen is because in a mass outbreak, there is a set amount of Pokemon, maybe like 10. But if if there are less than three Pokemon left in the mass outbreak, if there's three or less, if there's three on the screen and not four on the screen, and you, and you need to reset, the mass outbreak will auto end. So this is this goes back to the problem with Jubilife. If you save in Jubilife, you come out here. Let's just say, for example, there are 10. The shiny is number nine. You save because you don't want to fail the shiny. You accidentally knock out the shiny. You accidentally uh, um, you accidentally scare the shiny. You accidentally uh, grandma calls you and you power off the switch because you don't want her to know that you're playing Pokemon. If you fail that shiny in any way and you have to reset, it's going to say mass outbreak. Oh, you black out. That's a good one. You black out. It's going to it's going to say mass outbreak failed. And we tested this with a shiny Wurmple, where unfortunately the shiny Wurmple goes away because there was only three Pokemon left. And we tested this again with a Psyduck. Okay, we're saving. I'm stressed, chat. I'm really stressed. <laughs> like eliminating the competition. We're seeing if she's a powerful Wurmple. It does! There we go. It does fail out. Interesting. Dang. She's not powerful enough to make sure that you don't mess it up at all. You will save in the camp in front of the professor. Do that. Now we're gonna test. Now we're gonna check these weasels. Okay, so in this situation, there's only two floatsels left. So no more can appear. 
Once you see three, three of eight, three of your Pokemon left, that's when you can reset. Because obviously, if, they're, if you're not seeing four, then they're done. Um, so you can just reset here. But this is the this is the danger, right? Like, let's say one of these two floats were shiny, um, and then you messed it up by knocking him out, but you saved right before. This would auto fail for you, and then you would fail the shiny encounter. Um, so now that we didn't find a shiny, uh, all we're gonna do is we're gonna reset. Okay, so we know there's no shinies. We're going to then talk to the professor. We're gonna return to village. And then we're just gonna go back out. He's gonna say there's still an outbreak. He's gonna show there's still that floatzel outbreak. We're gonna go back into the field, field lands camp, field lands, I don't know, field area. We're gonna save again because now we're saving because this is a fresh batch of floatzel. The nice thing is, it was on the map, it's still marked. And then we're gonna head back over there. So every time you reset for not having a shiny, you're gonna reset your game, you're gonna talk to the professor, you're gonna go back into Jubilife, you're gonna come back out with the, uh, the mass outbreak picked, and you're gonna save in front of the professor once again. Are breakouts once a day? No, you, uh, you can get multiple anonymous. We've gotten like, Ooh, Mr. Mime. All right, so we're gonna switch to Mr. Mime. We're gonna first mark it. Then we're gonna save. Then we're gonna Stantler. So Oh, these are the last three. Okay, they can't be shiny. I don't know why it worked that one time where I was able to like donk them through their shield. Uh, okay, so that, they were not shiny. So what we need to do is we need to uh, go through the village. We need to go back out through the gate. Mr. Mime is still here. Save. I'm so excited to see these clowns again. But in the in the situation of ma mass outbreak, it is uh, for us because we don't have a complete Mr. Mime Pokedex. It would be one in one fifty eight. Uh, and then if for whatever reason we had a like perfect research plus the shiny charm, it would be a one in one twenty eight, uh, which is slightly slightly different. I mean, it, it matters for sure. Because it's, it's, it would be 150, 1 in 158 per Mr. Mime, or whatever other Pokemon you're upriding. Assuming that you don't have, like, research level 10. If you did have research level 10, it would be 1 in 152, which probably doesn't actually matter that much, but hey, a smaller die roll is better than nothing. No, you're standing in front of the ones I need to block. Oh, there he is! Look at that! Okay. So just to prove that this will work, chat. There he is. He's cool. He was, um, he was number six, I think. So we're gonna just reset. Because I know people weren't here yesterday. I think, he was, I think he was the 6th or he was the 7th one. So he'll always come in the same space. Okay, so we don't want to go back, right? This is this is the, the reason we don't want to go back, because it was shiny. So now we're just, we're just going to head straight to it. So, Alright, so we're back. Should be... I think it's the... It's either the 6th or the 7th one. One, two... Should be... This one. There he is! Hello, sir! Uh, now the tricky part is actually trying to get him in the right ball. We want him in feather ball, that's why. Oh, there it is. If you put... Hey, we got a shiny Mr. Mime! I guess let's catch the rest of these Mr. Mimes. Oh, there he is! 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 Got him. 
<laughs> How does this game work? The Banjo Tooie. Time splitters. <laughs> 